In this uh, video lesson, we're going to be talking about functions. I want you to take a look at what I have here. I have created a set of four ordered pairs, and well, four ordered pairs, which is called a set, and it's also referred to as a relation. If you recall, we've plotted these before, and I have them plotted on my board. 4, 2, negative 3, 5, 6, 1, and a negative 2, negative 2, because I need you to see it as we discuss this. You know that the first number in each of these ordered pairs is the x, and the name for the x's is referred to as the domain. So the domain of this set would be 4, comma, negative 3, comma, 6, comma, negative 2. And if we want to know the y's, which is referred to as the range, we're going to look at our second number. So the range here would be 2, comma, 5, comma, 1, comma, negative 2. So we have a set of ordered pairs here which is called a relation. The domain would be the x's. And if we have used x more than one time, we can just write it once. And then the range, it would be the y's. Okay, now, a function, let's see, how shall I put this? Um, in order to determine if you have a function, the value of, of x in the ordered pair has to be different for each of the ordered pairs in the group. I can tell by looking that this is a function because all the x's are different. And when I plot them, it will look like this. Now, what we do to, lo to locate whether um, a picture on my graph is a function, we simply take a look at it and we use what we call a vertical line test. If I were to draw vertical lines down my graph, if I only hit one point, on the way down, then that represents a function. So my set here does represent a function. Watch as I draw vertical lines down. As you can see, as I go down this vertical line, there's only one point on that line. As I go down this vertical line, there's only one point. Only one point there. And only one point right there. So this would be a function. If I decided to add to my set, say, maybe a 4 comma 4, let me go plot that for you. We'll move over 1, 2, 3, 4, and go up 4. You see that we have two points on the very same vertical line. That is not a function because I have used x, the same x, twice. So any, if we have all different x's, then we have a function. It doesn't matter how many times you use the y's, it can be used over and over again, but the x's have to be unique, they have to be different. Now I'm going to draw some pictures for you on my graph, and I want us to look at them and determine if we believe the picture represents a function or not. My first picture is going to look like this. Now. If you were to start drawing vertical lines, and as I go down my vertical line, if I hit any part of this line more than once, then x has been used more than once, and that would not be a function. So let's take a look. I'll just start going down these vertical lines. It hits here as I go down, and it hits here again. Hits here, here again. This is not a function. Look at all these vertical lines I'm going down, and every single time I'm hitting the top, and the bottom, so x has been used more than once. Not a function. All right, let's look at another, another drawing. Okay, this time I'm going to do this. Now, as you draw vertical lines, if it hits that line as you go down more than once, not a function. So I'll just pick a, a vertical line, hits at the top, hits again at the bottom, hits at the top, it's again at the bottom. I can continue doing this. This is not a function because x has been used more than once. Okay. Okay, let's try this one. I'm just going to draw this right here. Now, no way is that a function because if we were to plot this and look at every single dot on this vertical line, 
Look what we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Negative six. Negative six, one. Negative six, two. Negative six, three. Negative six, negative one. I have used x over and over and over again. Anything vertical at all is not going to be a function. This is not a function. I used x as a negative six a whole bunch of times. All right, not a function. Okay, how about this one? Hey, what do you think? Start thinking about drawing your vertical lines here. Okay, here, I'll just pick one. Okay, just crossed once. Now let me try another one. Just cross one time on that vertical line. Just cross one time on that vertical line. So I think we can clearly say that that represents a function. Okay. Let's try this one. I'm just going to put some points here for you. Okay. Now, just by looking at that, can you tell if that's a function or not? Well, let's do some vertical lines. Whoa, that tells us right there. I've got, I've used X more than once, and I used X one, two, three, four, five. I used X twice on that line as a, as a negative five, not a function. That looks okay, that looks okay. Oh no, nope, there's another one. So if you find one of them that's been used more than once, not a function. So, not a function on that one. Okay, let's try this one. What do you think? Hmm. Well, let's test it out. If I go this way, not a function. If I go that way, not a function. Not a function, just hitting once, once, once. The curvature is such that I'm continually moving, moving, moving off of the X to the next one. So this one looks like a, a pretty good function to me. There is no, um, no x being used more than once. Okay, now let's look at this one. Okay, take a look at what we have here. What do you think, function or not? Draw your vertical lines and we'll find out. Well, I don't see anything happening there just one time. One time, one time, whoa-oh, look right there. Two of them on the very same line, not a function, not a function. Okay, so I think you get an idea of what a function is or is not. If you do your vertical line test and you hit more than one point on that vertical line, then we've used X as that number more than once and that is not a function. Okay, let's look over here and we're going to graph some uh, functions after we sub in some values. Function notation usually, usually uses an F, a G, or an H. And what we're going to do is, they're going to tell us to find the F of X, the function of X, when they give us an equation. So there we're gonna find, they're gonna tell us what X is, and we're gonna tell them what Y is so we can have an ordered pair, and then we'll graph it. So on the first one, they say F of X, which means I'm gonna tell you the value of X, and I want you to sub it into 2X minus five. All right, 2X minus five. The first one that they want us to test is a negative two in the place of X. So I'm gonna go two times the negative two minus five. And two times the negative two is the negative four minus five. And a negative four minus five is a negative four negative five. So we just found that that's a negative nine. So when X was a negative two, Y was nine, excuse me, negative nine. Okay, let's go plot that. When X was a negative two, Y was a negative nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so there's our first one. Now we're gonna sub in a zero for the very same equation, okay? I'm gonna go 2x minus five, and we're gonna sub in a zero for x. Two times zero minus five. 
2 times 0 is 0, minus 5. So it appears that when x is 0, that y will be a negative 5. So let me go to the 0 of x and go down 5. All right, and now the last one they want us to use is a 3 in this very same equation. Okay, so here comes a 3. 2 times 3 minus 5. 2 times 3 is 6 minus 5. And 6 minus 5, or 6 plus a negative 5, is a positive 1. So when x is 3, y will be a positive 1. Let me go draw that for you. x is 3 up 1. Now you can see that I've plotted 3 using what they gave me, and this shows that I have a function because no matter what vertical line I go down, it only has, I've only used x one time on that vertical line. So that was the function. Let's try one more. Let's try, um, let's try x squared plus 1. Okay, x squared plus 1. Now, they're going to tell us that f of x is going to be a 1 the first time we use it, and then we'll do a negative 3, and then we'll do a 0. So using this, we're going to start subbing in. Okay, here we go. x squared, that means 1 squared plus 1. Well, 1 squared, that's 1 times 1, so that's 1 plus 1 is 2. So when x was 1, y was 2. Okay, let's do a negative 3 this time for x. Negative 3 squared plus 1. Negative 3 times a negative 3 is a positive 9 plus 1. So when x is a negative 3, then y is going to be a positive 10. And now they want us to sub in a 0 for x. 0 squared plus 1. 0 squared is 0, and 0 plus 1 is 1. So when x is 0, y will be 1. So we're going to plot each of these ordered pairs, and we should have ourselves a function. Okay, let's find out. Okay, the first one is 1 comma 2. Go over 1 and up 2. Our next one is a negative 3, positive 10. Negative 3, positive 10. And our third one is 0, comma, 1. 0, up, 1. And you can see, as I draw my vertical lines, that there is, we've only used x one time on each of those vertical lines. So this, and using what they have given us to sub in, we have uh, subbed in and we've graphed it and we have found that this is a function. So this is what we talk about when we talk about functions, determining if we have a function or solving uh, for when they tell us what f of x is. Okay, good job.